Hi everyone. We went to Dollar Tree this week and it was awesome. We got so many cool things for Halloween and the fall festivals so that we can make really cool DIYs. But I want to say that Dollar Tree has really stepped up its game. I haven't seen so many gorgeous things from there. And I just found out the other day that they have Dollar Tree Pluses, which I didn't know. And they're like $3 and $5 items. So if any of you are lucky enough to have a Dollar Tree Plus in your city, please let me know and just comment below because I would love to have one here. And I also heard that back in 2015, they bought the, what did I tell you they bought? The Family Dollar Tree store. No, just the Family Dollar stores. So that was back in 2015 and hopefully they're probably going to convert them over uh, maybe, I'm sure soon. So if any of you have any of those that were converted, let me know too. So let's get started. We're going to do Halloween first because they really did some great Halloween stuff. Okay. Um, they have the little DIY stickers, which are so cute. They have the spiders and the haunted house and the witch and the little bats. And then they have the little um, boo sign and the little skulls. Look how pretty these are. I know, pretty for Halloween. Absolutely. Aren't they cute? And actually, you know, if you turn them over on the other side, you could paint them and make them something that you want. I like the skulls. Yeah, they did a good job with those. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got, they have so many wooden items. I think we're going to try to go to a different one up, up north this week. And I'll try to uh, maybe do um, like a video of the store because our stores are older and they're always not that organized. So I really don't do a lot of pictures at least not a lot of videos because it really doesn't. They're not real neat like I see some of the stores from some of the crafters that post. Okay, got the little haunted house. That's really cute. It is. My daughter got the wicked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's a cute one too. Got the little broom. I wanted this haunted house because I love the little designs all the way around it with the bats. Very cute. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and um, the little skeleton silhouette. So I'm going to try to find some, what is it called? Black, or like black glow. Glow in the dark glow. Glow in the paint. Yeah, like paint or glue and do these. I think they would be really cute. Or just paint them white and add them to your wreaths outdoors. But how cool it would be if it glowed and it looked really scary. Okay, so I did get some really cool, I, look at these, these are so cool. These have berries on them. They have the little skull and the black and purple flower. But I think these are really cool. This one has a berry on it with a pumpkin. So they're a little bit different, but they were at the Dollar Tree. I can't believe that's all I got because I don't know. I think I don't think they had that many. Is that what it was? Yeah. Okay, all their little decorative fillers and scatters are so cool. They got the little skulls and silver. They also had them in white, by the way. Did they? Okay, yeah. they have the bats. How cool are these? And they have little clips on the back. Those are so very you cool. You can just clip them onto your wreath, onto your flower arrangements. How cool is that? Very cool. You can clip them onto your clothes or your hat or your little trick-or-treat bags. And you know, some of these actually would be cute to give as trick-or-treats if you didn't want to give candy. How cool would it be to give these spiders? <laughs> I mean, they're six for a dollar. Yeah, give kids with the fear of spiders a spider. <laughs> There's purple ones. I got lots of spiders. I did. Mm -hmm. These have the clips on the back. I got the little, I guess it's like an orange glitter. They have a black glitter and a purple glitter. I'm telling you, they were decked out for Halloween. Now, you got to remember, too, I didn't know this last year at Halloween because with COVID going on, I don't think I would even went out of the house at Halloween. Did we? We didn't go out. For we months. didn't go out for Halloween. Yeah, it was, I have an immune system disorder, so my kids were always like trying to protect me and not go anywhere. So, we stayed in, so I don't think I even went to a Dollar Tree in October. We stayed in and watched Hocus Pocus. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> but did we even go out at all? No, yeah, not at November, all. November, we didn't. Christmas, we didn't. 
We didn't well, do any. I Christmas think we pitch, did go out once think. in November to get stuff to do Christmas crafts. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think I don't think we did Christmas pictures or anything. Big old spiders too. Look at those. Those are cool. That I mean, seriously, they would look great. I would think I would even spray paint these to glow. <laughs> we should try to find that glow paint somehow. Yeah, if definitely. If any of you know about it, let me know. I'm sure they have it. They have glow in the dark paint on Amazon. Oh, and of course my daughter would know that, right? <laughs> All right. They have these cool rooms. Look how pretty these rooms are. Let's see. They have they have like a basic one, a black one, and a purple one. So here are your rooms. They're really nice too. They're made nice for a dollar. You get three of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, their prices are so good. You cannot beat their prices at all. If anybody can beat their prices, let me know. So I want to know. All right, so they have the little metal words, and it's haunted, spooky, and beware. I think I put beware on my door all the time, year round. <laughs> beware, I have six kids. <laughs> <laughs> or just beware in general. Oh, this little, this one, the, oh, maybe they came off or something. Anyway, these are little bows that have little skulls on them. But look, isn't that funny? They're both off in the middle. Maybe they didn't make them in the middle, but I probably lost them on me. I um, scratched off. No, they made them in the middle. Yeah, I saw the glue. Yeah. They could have come off in the bag, so. Yeah. Okay, they have the cute little signs that say, The Witch's Inn and Happy Halloween. And you get two for a dollar, which I think is a pretty cool deal. Dollar Tree gives you your, your money's worth, that's for sure. And then they have another set that mm -hmm. says, Eat, Drink, and Be Scary. And spooky greetings. I, I like the eat, drink, and be scary. <laughs> yeah, I did too. And welcome to our haunted home and the witch's inn. Put that out there too. I can't wait to make stuff with this because I didn't get to do that last year. I feel like I, I lost out. Didn't have like on a full have, month of like yeah, amazing I have, things. I didn't get to have any fun ever doing that. Okay, they have tons of... Pumpkins. Well, let me, let me show you the signs first, and then I can get to all this other stuff. All right, they had <laughs> great signs. I mean, and my store didn't have all the signs because I saw some other DIYs um, post some of their stores. So I got what I got, okay? This was Welcome to Our Farm, which is a little tractor, which I thought was so cute. And fresh pumpkins, 25 cents a pound. I mean, these, when you think about it, for a dollar, these are really sturdy. You can go to Walmart's. I think Walmart, I, we've been in there, but we haven't found anything yet. So I don't know when they're putting up their fall, but right now they're just clearance out a lot of stuff. So that's probably it. Friends gather here. I mean, I think these are even thicker than last year, but what do I know, right? It just feels rough. thicker. And this is really cute. Happy fall, y'all. Look at that. I love that they did the colors. I mean, you could just hang that on the middle of one of your wreaths and put some flowers around it. And this one, I don't think I'd even change this one because it's really pretty. It's got autumn, apple cider, hay rides, pumpkins, fall leaves. I mean, I don't think I'd change it. I think it's perfect just the way it is. Isn't it pretty? Mm-hmm. Very pretty. Okay, this one too. I think this one, I might just put some bows or some flowers around it. Family where life begins and love never ends. This is another pretty one. I think I would just maybe put some flowers around it or do some bows and just leave it because it's really pretty. Okay, they have autumn, apple picking, hay rides, crisp air, crunchy leaves, give thanks. I think the crunchy leaves would be everywhere but Florida, right? <laughs> Or in a warm state, I'm not sure, California. All right, hay rides, apple picking, bonfires, raking leaves, corn maze, pumpkin patch. So I'm sure the warmer states don't have raking leaves or bonfires, but if they do, let me know, because I don't know if they do. I don't. I see some more Halloween. 
All right, they have this little like, palette type pumpkin that you can, you know, color it different shades of orange, ombre it. And here's another one. I got another one. And here's one that says Welcome Fall, so you can paint it. <laughs> okay, and this one I loved. I, I mean, I would stick this, I'd probably cut this and stick it in one of my arrangements. It's gathered together. It's really cute. They did a really good job on that one. Didn't they? Yeah, they, yeah, they did. <laughs> All right, I did, I had some more Halloween. I thought I was organized, but obviously I wasn't. Okay. So they have all the really cool lights, okay? They have the ones that look like candy corns. Don't they look like candy corn? Yeah. They do. <laughs> they look like candy corn. And then the purples, which I'm not sure. I think I'll just add those to some of my crafts. They've got this cute little that's really that cute? cute and then we get the... <laughs> he's motion activated is it yeah it is the little yes, sensor's right it's there the little activated. sensor's right there like after you turn them on and after it goes that's cool And then, and then if you like, it's motion activated. Hold on. Come on. He just did it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Whoop, there it is. Okay, and then we have the little witch. Let's see what she does. <laughs> Isn't that cute? A dollar. And motion activated. I'm telling you, Dollar Tree just... They just got it in the ballpark, I'm telling you. They are just too cool. Okay, they have these really good, cool, sorry, cool wooden boxes. And let me find one that opens. They actually open, okay? So you can put like a tea light in the um, back of it. So these are little wooden boxes. This is the little jack o lantern. Jack -o -lantern. This is the cute little owl. Again, you could paint these. These would be really cute. I'll probably spray paint a lot this, this season. The ghost, which you could do white. And I guess this is a skull head, which you could do black. I like the skull. <laughs> I think I would paint them all different colors. And then just, you know, maybe add some pine cones. Do one corns. green, do one purple, do yeah, one orange, do one black. Yeah, it would be really pretty. Here, I'm going to hand that to you. Okay, also, <gasps> I just dropped one on accident. Okay, okay, we got these cute little bones that are made out of styrofoam. Got a bunch of those. They had these, um, these are folding lanterns with an LED tea light. You'll be able to see it in the picture over here, and it even comes with a little tea light. So, how cute is that? All right, that is really, really cute. And they're five by five by 10 inches. And like I said, it includes the tea light with replaceable batteries, which are included. That's a steal right there. How cute is For that? For a dollar. Yeah. So show them the little picture on the side. And this one is the same, but it's like a black cat. And it says, let's get spooky. Okay, they have these little scary pumpkin picks, which are the scary pumpkins. I'm gonna put that right there. And let's see, these are stickers. Okay, I think we're back to normal maybe. I think I'm done. Actually, if you need to, can I show you the pumpkins? They have the pumpkins too. So if you wanted to do like a three pumpkin tier outside or even paint them and do something like that, you could do that too. You could just glue them all together. But if you need to move some of that stuff, it's nice. It looks like you're getting a pile there. 
It's all right. We went a little bit crazy because I know when I go back, they're going to be gone because I went to try to find some things in one store. And of course, they only have one or two left. And then I go to another store and they only have a few. So I went ahead and picked up a lot of stuff so that I just have it, you know, to work with. So found these cute little checkered. Yeah, why don't you move some of that stuff while I show the pumpkin? It's all right. Oh, well, you were actually bumping into everything. I'm good. <laughs> All right, so they have these little checkered pumpkins. They're made with styrofoam and just material. And they have the little plastic tips. Yeah, I think you're probably gonna have to start putting that stuff somewhere, otherwise you're gonna fall over it. It's all right. Okay, and oh, I'll show you all their pits, okay? So these are little pumpkins. These are little pumpkins. These are like the glitter ones. And these are the white ones. They're little speckles. You can see they have little speckles on them. So these are cute for your flower arrangement. Or they would be cute if you get some of the wooden trucks and you want to break them off and put them in the little truck like a pumpkin. That would be cute. Yeah, like a pumpkin. Let's see. All right. And... Okay, they have these little ones where you don't have to break them off, but you could paint these. These are just, um, I think there might be wooden. I'm not sure. They don't look, they have little wooden stems, but these are awesome too because you could paint them the way you want them and, you know, stick them in the back of a truck and a little wheelbarrow or if the tractor's going to It looks paint. like it's wood. Yeah. I mean, they're just like I said. I can't wait for the Christmas stuff to come out. I know I'll probably go a little crazy. Yeah. Okay, again, these are the bigger picks. Okay, you can see the difference in the size, which I'll show you. These are much bigger. <laughs> all, right, that, all right, that's what I told you, Angelina. That's why I said not to do that. Okay. All right, all right so hand me the little ones. Oh, I got them. All right. So see the difference in the size? Because you're going to end up breaking something. Sorry. Okay. So here are these. I'm going to give her a minute to get all of these straight because she sort of um, made fell five. over it. <laughs> yeah. So I'll show these to you. She won't show them to you. I'll show them to you. Okay, so there's the orange ones. I have the glitter ones and the white ones. And here's some more white ones. Okay, try to be quiet with that. And then I have the corn. They have all these little corns that are pretty heavy and they're all like pretty and glitzy. A little bit shiny, but you get two for a dollar. You can try to move all that stuff over there too so that you can stand over there better. Okay, then we have the little felt pumpkins, which are the darker ones. And then you see the lighter ones you get see two four five of these and they're made out of felt which is pretty cool i didn't see any white ones okay and then they have these with, with the little clips on them i only saw white ones because sometimes you'd see a box of something and maybe there was only like one pack left and i guess people have already picked over a lot of it Okay, then I found these really cute velvet pumpkins. And I don't know if you could see it, but the stems look like real stems. And they've got a little bit of a gold and brown, like, like it's been worn, so they're pretty realistic. So I got the burgundy. They have a pretty teal. They have a, let's see. Now this is like a, either a dark navy it's not really black it's like a dark navy they have a brown this is more like a green brown and a burnt orange these are so high-end looking they actually look really like you paid four or five bucks for them and they're a dollar i got the gold one which i think is really pretty I have seen pink ones, but I haven't been that, you know, lucky. I'd love to have, do a pink, whole pink basket, which would be cute. 
and they had the silver gray one. Okay, that's that one. And let's see. This is the dark corn. I'll show you the difference in the color. What did I do with that other one? Right, this is the dark one. So you can see the difference in the brown and the gold. It's like a lemon gold. Are you good now, Angelina? Yeah. Okay, then they have these cute little mini bales, which I thought were adorable. And I would even use these at Christmas time. So stock up on those. You can put them in the back of a truck too. They have the straw bales, which are like real straw. You can see the straw coming out. And these cute pumpkins. Wait till you see these. These, I mean, for a dollar, they've already decorated them for us. So it's <laughs> got the little berries, the little gorge. What are they called? Gorge. And the flowers. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty. Okay, and this one, which is more of a, I don't know, they don't really name them, so, but see how it's speckled? I did find a couple of the white ones, which are pretty. Are these like foam? Yeah, they're probably foam. They're like a painted over, like Yeah, I think you could foam. stick stuff in them if you had to. You'd probably stick some picks in them. And here's like the pumpkin with the, the sunflower that's the orange. And here's the yellow one. Did get a couple of the little gourd. cords, cords, cords. If there weren't too many of those, I would like to have found a green one. I didn't see any green ones there. Green Neither ones? did I. Yeah, I got this cute little pumpkin too. It's got like some glitter on it. I got tons of pumpkins this year, let me tell you. And this one, which has got all the little beads. You know how you get all those little beads in kits? Well, this is perfect idea of what to do with it. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. I saw on another person's channel that they got in like the pumpkins and stuff to draw and to, you know, paint and all that other stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to find it in the next couple weeks. Um, got ribbons. Okay, they have tons of ribbons, which I thought had just gorgeous ribbons. If they had them last year, just make sure. <laughs> I didn't have them last year, okay, so... Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. This one is like a burlap. It's got the leaf print with a little bit of the, I guess, shimmer around the edges. It's like a little thread. I got the glitter ribbon, which I think is pretty good. Nine feet for a dollar. And this one which says give thanks, blessings, gratitude, family, happy harvest, feast. I think this one's nice too. You make some nice bows. And this one's cool. This is like a brown plaid. It's got the beige and the burnt orange and it's really pretty. It's got the gold around the edges. I only found some of the smaller ones which are the five eighths of an inch. I know I, I've, I've seen other people find a lot of them. I have not. They even have the little trucks now for the harvest time. I told you I've got a ton of stuff, so we're still going. They have all your little berry garlands. They have all the different colors. They have the orange. They have the dark orange and the burgundy. You can see the two differences in that, or maybe they're the same. I don't know. They're, they're different. And I love this color. This is the green and white. How pretty is that? That's really pretty, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I think you could use that at Christmas time, too. Probably. 
Okay, I got some stickers. They had um, these 3D stickers, and it's got like the pumpkin, the orange truck, the deer, the basket of fruit, but they're really, really cool. This one says, oh my gourd, happy fall. The only thing getting lit this weekend are my scented candles. Let's stay home. It's got like the pie in there. This is These are really pretty. Coffee cup. And they have the loose maple leaves. Aren't they cute? Maple leaves. Mm -hmm. Maple trees are so pretty. They are. Okay, so I got these really cool clip-on maple leaves. I got the gold, the burnt orange, and this, I guess, is like a burgundy, but these are really pretty. I mean, you get two of them, and they have the little clips on the back. And then I got the little trucks, which I, I hear they have blue. I haven't found the blue. They have... I have the green and the orange. Aren't these cute? Mm -hmm. I'm so glad the trucks are still going strong. You know? Because mm -hmm. I love the little trucks. They're really cool. All right, and let's see. They have these, which are really heavy. These are pumpkins. They're like eight pieces for a dollar. And they're really heavy, guys. They really are. They're like little pumpkins, and they're checkered which I think are really cool. And then they have the little maple leaves that also are like the black check and the red check. Maybe the orange. Is that an orange? I can't tell. Um, I don't know. It's like a... It looks like a orangish. Okay, they have these cool flowers, which are... It's some... what Crayola would call a red orange. <laughs> at these. These have got a little bit of everything in it. Pine cones, pumpkins, flowers. And I'm not sure what they're called, but aren't they pretty? And aren't they like tail or something? Or is that not? Or am I thinking of something else? I don't know. It could be. I forget what they're called. Maybe out in the open here because I have something that might help us out here. All right. These were the Halloween branches. So these are pretty tall and they're on a metal piece, but I got like silver and the orange. I really want to start like doing Halloween, but I know it's too soon. It's not. It's going to be August, tomorrow, September. I guess I could. Okay, so I got these now are three on a branch and they're your ferns. And I think these are all the same color, but I got this is a little bit different so i got the orange and like the oh, what color is that anyway it's not a rose gold it's like an orangish like orangish yellow i guess see these were all new the only reason i show flowers every week is because they get in new flowers every week okay i thought these were really pretty this is the queen anne's lace which looks so pretty in any kind of arrangement that you might do I did it for one of my little um, my little metal pig planters. I did the, the white one that they had this summer, but I like that they got these colors. The pink, I'm a little bit why they're getting pink and yellow when it's fall, but I'll go with it and save it for next year. Okay, I got this, which, let me see if this tag has anything different on it. This is wheat, and it's got like leaves in it it's really i mean it's pretty cool too like i said they they do a really good job they do all right that's really pretty and it, they did another one which is a fo oh maybe it's a foxtail angelina this is a fox no it's not a foxtail no actually this is a foxtail because these are fuzzy was the other one fuzzy i don't think it was that fuzzy yeah this is like a Foxtail. Pretty cool. Here's the other one we were talking about. Heather. Was it Heather? Um, I don't know. It was the... Let's see what it looked like. 
Maybe we'll learn off flowers for the Dollar Tree. No. Depends on if I can find it. That's <laughs> all right. No. Never mind. Anyway. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, we're saying Heather. I don't think it was. Is it Heather? I don't know. Yeah, it's Heather. Hmm. Yeah. So this was Heather with the pumpkin. And what is it? Pine cone and the little daisy light. Yeah. yeah that's pretty. Okay, my last flower, I think, just, I think I'm ready. Well, no, I think I just showed this, didn't I? No, I showed the white one. It comes in yellow, too, with the heather, the pine cone, the pumpkin. It's got little pieces of greenery, which I think is really, it's pretty awesome, guys, for a dollar. I mean, look how much you get for a dollar. You know, to me, that's a lot, a lot of stuff you can work with. Oh, and then, oh, look at this. Unless we got this, we got silver dollars. I used to grow these in my backyard in Virginia Beach. Really? Yeah, I used to grow these. I love, I can't wait to have a garden again. I didn't grow, <laughs> really, I had jasmine, I had roses, I had wisteria, or wisteria, Ooh, however they pronounce it. I love to have a rose garden. Oh, it was so pretty. I had lots of roses. Bumblebees love them. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. They never stop me. Thank goodness. Okay, so... Now, we also got, let me show you, they had these in, which I thought was a really good buy, okay? Well, it's this one, and I'll show you, I don't have the box for it, but, okay, this is a work light, it's 60 LED, 100 in the front, and it's like lumens, so you have two light sources, and it's LED portable, so everybody knows that the east part of the United States got tornadoes, and really... It's horrible weather here. And I had just gone to the Dollar Tree. And that night, of course, we lost power all night long. But use these. So here it is. I've got batteries in it. Look how cute this is. And it's pretty bright. So you can see how bright that is. And then if you do that, it goes right there. But oh my gosh, this was a lifesaver. Seriously. It takes three AA batteries, I think. Yep, three AA batteries. So, and you can hang it on things. So I hung it on. As a matter of fact, I think my room was the only one because I had them all around and my room was like daylight. So it was pretty cool. So and then and then we all had one that we would like carry around. With yes, us. they had one that they would go to the bathroom with and upstairs with. It was pretty cool. All right. I love this little lamp. And I'm going to put this over by the computer because a lot of times when I'm over on the you desktop. You can't see the keys? Can't, can't. It's not lit enough, but look at this. That's very bright. It's like yeah. glinting inside of As my glasses. As a matter of like, fact, after, after the, because uh, the power went out, I was getting ready to go to bed. I had this by my bed so I could turn it off right before I went to sleep. So that's what I saw. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. Three double A's. I mean, it is too cool and it's flexible. So you can move the little light around to just have what you want. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Also, we got at the Dollar Tree, we've got these, um, I haven't used them yet. It kills viruses in seconds. One is more like a handheld one. These are both a dollar, and these I've seen on TV. So you can see the difference in the size that it kills viruses, E. coli, germs, bacteria. This one's portable and folds down. This one is too. There are different sizes, but how cool is this? You just wave it over toys, wave it over electronics and it's supposed to kill viruses so i guess it's a disinfectant light i hope it does because it would be really cool you do it over keyboards high chairs phones cars doorknobs shipping boxes toys masks cool 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 isn't that cool it's mm -hmm. cool i haven't seen them at the Dollar Tree yet. Why do I feel like they brought this out just because of COVID-19? Maybe they did. Because why would did. they have a mask on there? True. And doorknobs. Wow, cool. And shipping yes, boxes. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Like, why, why would they put those on there? That is a good point. Okay, I got this little headlamp to try. It requires three double A's. You wear it on your head. It's got low light, three modes. So... High, low, and flashing. Hand free, so if you're working on crafts, a workbench, you're riding your bike. Taking the dog out. Yeah. <laughs> have to hold so on to them. So we have the little black hats. 
with, you know, they're little beanies with the lights in it. So I've never had one of these, but this is cool. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. You can walk your dog. Yeah, cool. Okay, we got this little magnetic pickup tool, which I think I've had one before, but I picked another one up just to put it in the garage when we drop things. Pretty cool, huh? That's why, you know, what's really important about Dollar Tree is to go down every aisle because you'll always see something that you can use. And actually, I mean, I know some of the toys are, you know, they break really easy. So I don't really buy a lot of toys there because they're just, they're very flimsy unless they up their game this year, which would be nice. Um, but everything else is pretty cool. All right. This is a rubber <laughs> mallet. I've never seen them there before. Crafters, this is great for when you're putting things together and you don't want to scratch it. Yes, a dollar rubber mallet. I was like, did you point that out to me? I can't remember. But I was like, oh my God. Yeah, because you were like, I need a rubber mallet. And I was like, is that it? And yeah, that's it. Grab for <laughs> safety goggles. So. Isn't that cool? Dollar. And it's it's really, really good. I mean, I don't know if I'd use it like, bam. No, I wouldn't do that. I mean, but if you're just doing like little nails or. Or if you had to knock somebody out, that would do. <laughs> <laughs> I might fall off and they might knock you out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I did find... You do tend to knock me over the head with some stuff. <laughs> I do. Accident. On accident. <laughs> By accident. Okay, I got these microfiber cloths. Uh, I haven't tried these. I know Norwix makes them for really expensive. And we'll see how this one works. It's a dollar. You can use it wet or dry. So I have a Norwix one too. So I guess I could compare it. And it says it eliminates the need for paper towels and all-purpose cleaners. It's lint and streak-free surface. You can use it as a dustant or polishing cloth. Wipes up any surface. It can be used up to clean up spills and can absorb liquids up to seven times its weight. This will be good for us because Felicity is always spilling water. <laughs> it says extremely durable. You just keep washing it and reusing it. Rinse out. Do not use a fabric softener or bleach. It can actually diminish its effectiveness. So we'll see how this works, but a dollar. I think that was in the automotive section, maybe. I think it was down that aisle, yeah. Yeah. But I think I think it was like around where the like like the the clean devices or whatever they are. Okay, I found these little lids, which I'll probably have seen them before. I haven't. Um there, this is the hanging lid that you could put on your, like, you know, the ball jars that you get pan in. So it's like little ones that you can use to hang your jars. And this one is the star one. So you can put a light in there and then it'll shine like a star on your ceiling. So that's pretty cool, right? Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, I'll take that tape. Oh, I did pick up some of these tubs. I got it in my favorite color, coral. So these hold quite a lot. They are, I love these. You can stick these underneath the sink with your shampoos and stuff in it, just pull it out. You can stick it under your kitchen cabinet and put all your cleaning stuff in it. You can use it as a dry erase basket, okay? So dry erase across it, erase it off for your kids, like school supplies in their room for their crayons or their markers. Although Disney would not, figures. <laughs> I would not leave markers in a child's room, ever. Don't leave markers in their room. <laughs> right on the walls, on the furnace, on the furniture. You know, on the doors. On the doors. So <laughs> do not use those markers in the rooms. Okay. Just a little, um, what, token of my knowledge after having six kids. Okay. And I got some of these little, let's see. You know, I like these because you get a dollar. Look how big they are on the inside, though. These are a little bit different. They're not your shoe ones. They're, like, really, really big on the inside. See? I mean, they're wider, so you can fit more in it. But, and you get the lid all for a dollar. So, there's that. Okay. The, the best buy that we got in the Dollar Tree this week was you're not gonna believe this we happened to walk in a store and we got look these these <laughs> let me see these and these 
don't have the honey buns because I think they're all gone. And we got honey buns, okay? <laughs> all right. We got my, <laughs> my the, favorite bag in the whole universe. Popcorn. <laughs> cheese popcorn. We got tortilla chips. Nacho cheese. Mm -hmm. Tortilla chips. And party mix. Now wait for it. We got all of these for 25 cents. That's right. And they're not expired. Okay, I don't think that they are. They're not expired. But they're going to be sometime in August. <laughs> Let me see the expiration. Yeah. So they were 25 cents, guys. 25 cents. We were in, we were in Dollar Tree a month ago, so and Angelina pointed out they had their macaroni and cheese boxes. 25 cents. I think we got like eight or ten of them. Okay. We got 12. Oh, we, yeah, I should have got all, all of, them. of them. I really should. I, and But when we went to get the, when these were, we walked in the store and the lady goes, hey, guess what? These are 25 cents. She had cases of them. So Like boxes yeah. upon boxes. And I'm thinking what probably happens, and you know this is true, um, because I'm not sure if this, yeah, this doesn't have. Oh. I think I just saw the date. Yeah, it's right there, I think. Anyway, my kids will eat these pretty quick, so. And we don't normally do a lot of sugar, but for 25 cents, I'll give it to them. Well, okay? I do a lot of sugar. <laughs> All the other she ones don't. <laughs> but anyway, what a great deal, 25 cents. So rush down to your Dollar Trees and see if they're doing it. I think what happens is they forget they're in the back, and then it gets closer to the expiration date. These are in August, and they probably just mark them down because they know they're going to be stuck with them. And... I, we've gone there a lot and seen 25 cent items, so make sure you check your Dollar Trees. And I think you could even maybe even ask the managers if they have any. So, I mean, because they're very nice in all those stores. I've never come across I've never met yeah, a everybody's mean always so nice in there. them. Um, okay, so I got these. We did stop at Dollar General, and I've been looking for these for years, really, because I used to make little, um, let's see, Christmas decorations and ornaments out of these which these are little wooden pegs they're doll pins all right just to tell you you can use your markers on them to make little faces you can make little dresses um, you can use the little pom-poms for their hair or for hats so these are great for kids um, it is like a crafters item so this was at dollar general, general. i was looking for the little wood pegs in there, but they didn't have them. That's the only reason why I stopped there. So I was, I thought these were, you know, pretty cool. I haven't seen them at Dollar Tree. And I got this cute little riser or table for $6. I thought this was so cute. I love the little pattern. I don't think I'd do anything to it. It's just cute for six bucks. Mm -hmm. So that'd be cute on any table. You can use it, you know, with, other items, of course, yeah. yeah. Oh, she's running out of room over there. <laughs> I think. Oh, there's the other pack. Remember I said I had another pack? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we were in Walmart because we always do our food shopping that day, too. I got these cute picks for 97 cents with the little cotton balls. I love this pick. Look how cute this is. The cotton pick has got the little burlap leaves. That is so cute at Walmart's. Can't wait to use those. I wonder how much dust it'll pick up. No, I'll take it over here. And let's see. They had some really cool Halloween stuff at Dollar Tree. No, at Walmart for 97 cents. So look at these. I love those. Yeah. <laughs> these are so pretty. These were 97. And I got the white one. Or this is sort of like a green. It's like a yeah, this is a pumpkin and berry pick, but I think it's really, really done well for 97 cents. And of course, we couldn't pass up these gorgeous, and I do mean gorgeous. Um, these are gorgeous. Look at these. These are gray with, it's a Halloween rose pick, but it's got the black leaves. I think this is gorgeous. I love the way this looks. It's sort of like um, you know, like faded a little bit. See how it's black on the inside? Look how pretty that is. And these, this is Pompa's pick. Look how pretty these are. 
They're so good. <laughs> they do. They're very soft. These are pretty too. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but you know, you can even make a broom out of them for a witch if you were doing something. Isn't that pretty? Mm hmm. You know how soft it is. Ooh, very soft. Yeah, very soft. I think that's it, guys. I know you probably get sick of us, but you know what? We never get sick of you. <laughs> we don't. So if you would subscribe, we would love it. Because um, all of you are helping our channel to grow. And when you hit the view button, that helps the algorithm with YouTube. And, of course, the notification bell. We have some new channels that are coming up. So we'll probably link them once we get them up and running. But they're pretty cool. They really are. My daughter Angelina has been working on them. We've been collaborating on them like daily for a week. And I think you're really going to like them. We're going to do probably, let's see, three or four more channels. Two yeah, probably. Like yeah. we have two that we're working on right now. Yeah. And then a third one. Yeah. So stay tuned. We're going to be linking them when we get them up. And of course, um, you won't know unless you go to my channel to be linked up with it. So we'll let you know the next time I do a DIY or a haul um, about these new channels. One of them is my heart. I love it. I think you'll love it. It's, you'll love it. It's just really, I don't know, inspirational, um, sweet, just, oh my gosh, I'm going to love it. You're going to love it. Anyway. Thank you for watching. We love that you watch with us. And if you have any comments, we love your comments. My gosh, all of you are so sweet. And we try to answer every one of them. And sometimes we might just hit the heart, but we'll come back and write something for it later. Sometimes we're in a hurry and we don't want you to think that we didn't see your comments. So thank you again for watching. Have a great day or evening, depending on what time you watch this. And we'll see you on the next one.